I make these videos on the assumption that you are a self-aware, intelligent human who can think and reason and make a choice about what you believe to be right and wrong. But the purest form of evolutionary science says that no, you can't actually do any of that. Your ability to think and reason and decide is all just an illusion created by the chemical activity of your brain. Your sense of self-awareness and free will is not real. I hope that sounds ridiculous because it is. The proofs for the existence of God are unavoidable in virtually every area of science. The science of consciousness is an example of this. The human mind, and what I mean by that is being self-aware and having volition, is the most important part of our individual identity, but it's immaterial. The mind is not a physical thing. It doesn't have physical qualities, and it simply does not fit into a purely materialistic view of our existence. If we are purely physical creatures, why do we even have the ability to think? Scientists admit that this is a hard problem. David Chalmers, a philosopher and cognitive scientist, asked this question. Why would physical processing give rise to a rich inner life at all? It seems objectively unreasonable that it should, and yet it does. If we imagine the universe forming and existing without any divine intervention, consciousness doesn't make sense. Kitchener and Hales and Frontiers of Human Neuroscience explained the problem like this. Quote, the idea that consciousness arises from processing signals of the now well-defined and well-understood neuronal forms would give rise to the phenomenon of a first-person perspective can be called strong emergence or magical emergence because there is currently no reason to hold that such a phenomenon would, should, or could follow from the known properties of the system's constituents. Based on what we understand about the signaling processes of the brain, the self-aware mind, that's what is first-person perspective, simply should not exist.